Jen here and I have a stretch the sketch layout for you. So this is our sketch for the month of February and you can see there I'm kind of twisting it uh, to see how I might want to orient it a little bit because I'm going to do a two page layout. So last month I shrunk the sketch and did a traveler's notebook insert. So I really wanted to do a two page layout this month and I've really been thinking about books a lot lately. So I'm going to do a book layout um, in January for the the Secret Not Secret Kit Club scrap party at the end of the month. Christy asked, or I guess it's a challenge, but she asked the question, um, what is something that you are going to be keeping the same this year? So brand new year, we always talk about um, our you know, resolutions and goals and things we're trying to change. And so it was a kind of fun twist on that to have a challenge to scrap something that you're actually going to keep the same. And for me, it is my reading, my book reading. Um, I was such an avid reader when I was younger. And then I think, I don't know, I th you hear it a lot, but I think I burnt out a little bit in university because <laughs> you know, you're, you're reading a lot of textbooks. My degree is in psychology. So, um, lots of reading going on for that and paper writing and that kind of stuff. And I think you just get burned out sometimes. And then the kids come along and you know the story. Um, but now I'm back into reading. Last year I read, last year was a slower year for me. I only read 65 books. Um, but the past few years before that, were a little bit higher and this year I'm hoping to read 75 books that's a pretty good goal for me I think it, it's definitely an attainable goal for me so I don't want to give myself something too too high but I I'm envious of all of those people who can read a hundred plus books a year because that definitely used to be me but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that uh, quite yet <laughs> um, but I just really wanted to pull out this this collection that I have here from Finders Keepers called Libris Sh Shmibris. Uh, and it's just this really fun book collection. It's very beautiful. You saw me kind of flipping through some of the papers and they're just so gorgeous. And I've been hoarding this because, A, because it cost me a ton of money. Um, I was one of the first people to order the collection. I, well, I actually, they had sent this to a couple of people in Canada, but they hadn't gotten any orders for it yet at the time that I contacted them. So they were working out shipping and everything. And so it ended up costing me like almost a hundred dollars <laughs> for the paper, two washi tapes, um, two, two stamp sets, I think. Yeah. So it was quite expensive. So I've been hoarding it um, and I just really wanted to get it used up because I shouldn't be doing that. I'm really making that a priority for me not to hoard pretty papers. So I really, I wanted to get a book layout done for that reason. And also just this is the time of year when, for me anyways, I think about my goals for reading and what I want to put on my TBR for this year and are there any books that... I didn't get to last year that I really want to make a priority for, priority for this year and stuff like that. So uh, I pulled out all of the pictures that I took last year. I usually take a TBR picture at the beginning of every month. Even if I forget to post it on Instagram, I've, I've usually taken one um, because for the longest time I was putting all of this into my project life. And because I didn't do project life in 2018, and I, I haven't really done anything for 2019. I just have all of these pictures that I'm in the habit of taking, um, but I hadn't done anything with them. So I pulled a whole bunch of them out and I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and create these bookshelves and pile up a whole bunch of, of pictures. So you can see that some of them are stacks of books. Those are my TBRs. Um, the one I just put down there is actually a book haul from Book Outlet, so it's a whole bunch of books. But I kind of went through and looked for ones where if it was a TBR photo, I had read most of them, um, if not all of them. So the ones where I maybe put, I took a picture and I didn't read 
any of them. That happens some months. <laughs> I get I get interested in something else and I don't end up reading any of the books that I had taken a picture of. Um, those ones I just kind of kept off to the side and then I also have pictures from audiobooks because I, I usually read um, three or four audiobooks a month uh, and I just kind of mix and matched them. I don't have the you know specific months. I can kind of tell just by the way that I posed the picture that, for example, the Let It Snow was my um, January TBR and the one with the hearts was my February TBR. And I think the one with the candle on it was actually a TBR for the Thriller Readathon, the Thrillerathon, which is happening uh, starting today, actually. Yeah, the 16th. So good timing. I'm scrapping last year's TBR and I'll be releasing this year's today as well. Um, but yeah, I just kind of picked a few different ones. And I think with the amount that I have left over, I'll probably do another two page spread, something similar to this, maybe using up some of the other papers from this collection. Uh, and then I'll just have all of my books from from last year documented that way. So I've got two pieces of paper. Um, I really wanted to kind of preserve the the quote that's going down the center of the one piece of paper and and the book the way that it's opened and stuff like that. And I I think that's another reason why I've hoarded this collection is because so many of the papers are just really beautiful and I don't want to cover any of the pictures up. So, you know, you kind of put them away until the perfect thing happens and obviously that doesn't doesn't always come along, but I felt like this was a good way to kind of scrap around that image. So I just cut it straight in half, um, six inches, cut that other pattern paper in half six inches, and I washi taped it uh, together on the back. And now my big bulk of pictures can kind of sit mostly on that pattern paper, and you can still see the quote in the center. And then the other paper, that kind of dark um, eggplant colored paper that just has book titles and authors repeating over and over again and then the one washi tape has the same thing actually they both are the same thing the purple washi tape is identical and that blue washi tape has a few images but it's still repeating book titles so once I got all of that down I went through some of my other booky things so I also have the Feed Your Craft book um, collection. I have the journaling cards and I have the ephemera and I have the stamp set and um, puffy stickers. And then this stamp set here actually matches the Libris collection. Um, it came with two stamp sets so I'm going to pull that one out too. And I do have a few other booky things like I have um, some ephemera and papers from Paige Evans and from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, those, well, in this shot, you can see that one um, bookmark that's lying down on its side there. That came from Pink Fresh Studio, I think. So I do have a few other booky things, but some of the colors are just a little bit too bright. This collection very much has that kind of um, faded look to it like everything looks a little bit like it's been um, dyed with tea or something like that so not I wouldn't call it super vintagey but just kind of muted or more subtle so not all of the um, other little bits and pieces I had really matched but some of that finders keepers or sorry some of that feed your craft collection worked well so this is a combination of the two stamps, the the repeating word stamp that you can see in the background. It just says books, 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 um, repeated in different fonts and sizes. And then the bookmark is from the Feed Your Craft. And I kind of liked that this brings a little bit of texture and I can kind of add my own color to it. So I was really trying to match that yellow that's in the collection to get a little bit more of that into the embellishments. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and really messily paint those two bookmarks. I let the ink dry a little bit uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and paint those and um, let those dry while they're drying. I'm going to take that same bookmark stamp and go ahead and stamp it on some actual book pages. Um, these are just leftover pages that I had from a, a DIY I did in October where I cut out the shape of a pumpkin and made some book pumpkins. And then this stamp set here, do I end up, which one do I use? Okay, so um, I do end up going with the uh, Finder's Keeper stamp set. So it's just the same, that exact same book that's open. I'm going to stamp that twice on the book paper too. It just goes off the edges a little bit of my stamp block, so I'm kind of pushing down on those edges. But I have a bunch of other stamp sets that I ordered from different places. They don't really have names or manufacturer information on them because it was, I think, one's from AliExpress. One might be from Wish. I think one was a gift. So I'm not quite sure who makes them and they're really really cute and I use them when I can but if I can use a stamp that I bought from a company I'd rather support that company so um, that open book kind of works plus it matched so I went ahead and used that one instead. So now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of put together a little cluster down at the bottom here roughly in the same place as in the sketch and instead of using banners I've got my bookmarks so those kind of represent the banners that you see in the sketch so I'll play around with them a little bit um, I also cut from one of the cut apart sheets in the um, Libris collection there were two little uh, book li or library cards so I just cut those out to kind of be the base of my clusters because they're just a little bit um, more solid than the background and I felt like those book page stamps that I that I have stood out a little bit more on them. So there you can see I have my cluster. I use some foam on the page, the little book stamp that I stamped out to kind of pop up the pages and I um, pierced holes in the top of all of my bookmarks so that I could have some gold thread coming through and then each of my clusters on this side and then on the other side has a puffy sticker um, so this one just has a little book I also had one of those I think are they called leatherette stickers it was just a really random leatherette sticker that I found and so I popped that in there because on this side on this cluster I have all the same elements I did the same thing to the bookmarks uh, and the book and I have a puffy sticker but I also had that green book um, die cut or ephemera piece so I wanted to throw something extra into this side too then I kind of scattered some um, chipboard stars all over. Those come from Studio Calico and I don't even know if you can get them anymore but they're super cute so I scattered some dark blue and light blue ones and now here from my is this my Christmas one? No. This is a little birthday stamp set from Freckled Fawn and it has teeny tiny little stars. So I went ahead and just stamped those all over the place too. And that's it. That's my layout for this month. If you have any questions, you can leave them for me down below. And all of the links to everybody else who participated this month are in the description box. So please check them out and show them some love. Uh, and thank you so much for liking and subscribing and watching my video. I really appreciate it. Until next time, happy scrapping. Bye.